Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about dealing with discouragement. Now we all face some form of discouragement from time to time in our lives and unfortunately perhaps even more times and more often than we'd like to. Sometimes it's just the little mundane things that add up, like perhaps somebody cutting you off in traffic or maybe an impolite salesperson. Other times it's harder and bigger, like an illness perhaps or a major life change. But the real question is, when we are faced with discouragement, how can we deal with it effectively and positively? Well, keep watching because we're going to be talking about some of the ways we work effectively through discouragement. Okay, so straight away, what are some of the physiological signs that tell us we're getting tense, we're starting to get stressed and something's becoming discouraging for us? Immediately you'll notice your breathing becomes more rapid and shallow, that's the first telltale sign. You might even experience some tightness around your chest if things are quite bad, or a sharp sensation between your eyebrows wanting you to tense them. Now at this point you know that something is discouraging, so what you want to do is counteract that effect. Your breathing will be becoming shallower and rapid. So start breathing deeper breaths and what this will do is give you another focus too, allowing you to deflect your mind from the stress stimulus, giving you um, more time to think things through and calm down. And often in time, just by doing that, you'll find that your mind becomes clearer, your approach becomes better, and you're better able to deal with the stressful situation, helping you to deal with the discouraging situation more effectively. Now, most of the time this is helpful, but just a word of advice, it usually just works with the smaller things. What do you do when something is inevitably discouraging. It's something bigger, it's something more ongoing and you know that you can't really escape it. Now naturally the best thing to do is avoid a stressful situation but sometimes in life you can't avoid a stressful situation. Maybe something at work or in the home that you know you're going to have to deal with anyway. So in moments like that, um, in situations like that, what you want to do is find a healthy release of tension, a healthy way to release the stress and the anxiety that has led to that discouragement. So how do we do that? Well, we do that by finding um, good healthy release. So things like, for instance, um, going out for a run, um, a lot of people find that helpful and you know, if you're a food lover, you don't want to eat your feelings. And you know what I'm talking about if you're a food lover, because so am I. So did you know that um, just going for a run or a brisk walk releases the same amount of endorphins and um, helpful chemicals that give you that boost and feel good factor, even more so than eating a whole chocolate bar. So. You know, step away from the food, don't look for food to make you feel better, but um, instead invest in yourself, do something that's helpful, um, work, work on yourself, work on your body, um, give yourself the benefit of pumping iron and doing something that's good for you. Another thing that people find helpful is meditation and prayer, they find that that's a healthy release of stress and helps them better cope with discouragement and I myself can definitely attest to that. I find prayer a great um, way for me to deal with discouragement. I could be having the worst day ever but um, when I pray I find that I always come away with more clarity on how to deal with the situation better than I went um, into it. Also I find that it's just a great way for me to be able to 
refocus my priorities and get the issue into proper perspective too. So definitely uh, that's a helpful way. To Did you know that you can actually choose to channel your thoughts away from the negative and discouraging situation and channel them to positive thoughts that help you and really encourage you and help you to motivate yourself into performing better and just having a clearer vision. Now you might be asking me, well, how can I do that? How do I get my mind off something? Like I can't help the way that I think. Yes, you can. And even though it might be something that's not natural to you, you can train yourself up to think differently. And it's not always easy, but it is possible if you set your mind to it. And on that note, I'd like to recommend this great book that has some excellent tips on ways that you can do that. It's called The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale, a real legend, a great man. And just so you know, this book has sold over 15 million copies worldwide. It really is wonderful and I found it so helpful personally for myself. So if you want to know how you can think more positively and better deal with discouragement, go and get yourself a copy and read this book because it has some great ways, effective ways that you can do that. Now, um, one way that I find that I can do this is by reminding myself of what's truly important to you. When you're tempted to just worry about a discouraging situation, sometimes worry is not going to lead to a helpful solution. Okay, there is constructive thinking, but sometimes just, you know, full out worrying isn't really going to change the situation. It's not going to help. And you can spend that same amount of time refocusing on your priorities in life and what really matters to you. So what does really matter to you? Maybe for you it's your family or your career, your life goals, helping others. Um, spend your thoughts in, in ways that you can be better at that and spend your time doing what's really important to you. Why not go and spend some time with your family instead of you know making those dead end calls or um, just sitting around like letting the worry get to you. Put on a funny family film and watch it with your children. Um, you know, or get your mind off the situation. Whatever it is, you know, playing a game um, with your with your family, having a fun evening together. Now, by doing this, you might find that okay, the situation hasn't changed, but. When you go back to it tomorrow, you would have changed, your approach may have changed, um, your outlook may have changed, and so you may even deal with it far better than you would have in that same state of mind. So those are some of the ways that you can deal more effectively with discouragement. I hope you found these tips uh, helpful, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, if you find this helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and like the video and um, that will really help out and um, let me know some of the ways you deal with discouragement too. Uh, comment below, share your tips with us too because you know we feed off of each other um, by sharing we can grow together and we can learn together. So do uh, like the video and comment below share your thoughts and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and if you like it and you've been following it why not tell your friends and family to subscribe too the more the merrier thanks for watching guys